What's up guys? This is Christina Wonder Seven on Twitter and let's review this. Yet again, beautiful art, great story, great dialogue. That's it. There's nothing more to say. Well yeah, there is, but opinions, but if this comic book, if Charles Soley and Daniels have not made you love this couple yet. I don't know what's wrong with you and you need help. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe you just are just such a fanboy that you just can't enjoy something because it's really good. Hmm. Well this opens up in a very interesting way with them in London and she is putting her boots on. You're like, she's putting her boots on. You're like, oh, she's had sex. I'm like, they're adults. Get over it. They're together. If it happens, it happens. But he's like, you know, I gotta go. Here's the thing. I gotta go. And he's like, I got I gotta go find out who told. I wanna find out how my 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 personal website broke this story. And he's like, you know, I wanna know how this happened. They're like, okay. I'd wanna know too. But he's like also it's like I gotta go talk to Zod and that. it's like, okay. See you soon. Toodles. But the, the very interesting thing is you get to see the world's reaction to them being together. And you get to see how Jordan, who brings up dibs, I called dibs on Wonder Woman, and Clark doesn't understand dibs. You got Eros saying that this is this is a good thing. And and um, Apollo's like, oh, all love is not good. And Eros is like, dude, you love yourself and nobody else. I'm the god of love, and I know all about the good stuff. And them is good bad English. <laughs> and then you've got Waller. Waller and Steve really made me think of maybe it was one of them that leaked it. Because Waller's like, how do you feel this is out? And he's like, I already knew. So this really, I'm not affected. She's going to break up with him anyway because it's what she does. And you're just like, uh-huh. That's someone who's just jealous that his girlfriend left him Duh. He's just jealous. The next thing that kind of happened that's really big is that we see Lex. Lex's reaction is just sheer pissed off. He's so enraged. He's like, they're not people. They're these superpowered dots. What the hell are they doing together? This is not good. This is bad. And you're just like, what the hell is his problem? Is he mad too? But it, it, it's totally him overreacting over this because he didn't have a, he didn't see this coming and he, didn't, he doesn't have a plan for this, which is like, this is going to be bad because Lex is a thinker. He plans everything and he didn't plan for them to be together or he didn't see it coming. And he's like, there's no contingency plan. There is only him thinking out of the seat of his pants and that cannot end well <laughs> at all for anyone. But the next really important thing is Clark dealing with Zod. Zod plays Clark for a dummy. Zod knows what all the things in the Fortress of Solitude actually are. We find out that the container that he has Zod in is a storage, is, is cargo holds. It's for cargo. And and he's like, you know, this, this, this guy who's Kryptonian speaks like a robot. He talks like a robot. Here's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just imagine when you speak Spanish and you're just like, you don't want to speak it. You're just like, oh my god, why do I have to take this lesson? You're like, oh my god, why do I take Spanish? And you sound like an automaton when you speak it because you're not, it's not your native language. You're taught it in school. You don't hear it around your house. So you don't hear all of the inflections and all the emphasis. And when they're speaking, and they're very, they're very passionate about things. But you're, you're speaking it because it's a grade. So. That's how Clark views Kryptonian. He's, he was taught by a computer, so he sounds like one. And and Zod kind of lures Clark in. He first he brings up, now where's your chick? You know, the big powerful one. You know your daddy liked powerful women too? You get that from your daddy? It must be a Kryptonian thing. It really has to because you've got Zod with Fiora and she's a powerful woman. You've got Jarell and Laura and she's a powerful military woman. And then you've got Superman and you got Superman and Wonder Woman and she's like, she's a powerful woman. And then you've got Khan and 
and, uh, and Wonder Girl. And you're like, Khan's only like a half Kryptonian, but he still picked a very powerful woman. It's a Kryptonian thing. They really love, they love powerful women. It's like, dude, why wouldn't they? I wish they were real because like, I'm a strong, powerful woman. I need a Superman. Maybe Henry Cavill would be so nice. <laughs> but let's get back on topic. With Clark not really understanding his own technology, the own his own culture, his own technology from his own people, Saad basically tricks him into getting what he needed so that he can open the Phantom Zone and bring back Fear, which he does. And her eyes are red. She looks like she's beat up or whatever. Some some got her. And she seems out of it. And Zod kicks Clark's ass, gets Fiora, and that's where it ends. Well, kind of where it ends, because it starts off with um, the blog heard around the world. Now, Clark, this takes place before all this Zod stuff happens. So he's like, I gotta find out who told. I want to know how the, how my blog talked about me. And you you see Clark trying to be doing what he does best. He's an investigative reporter. He's busting out his old chops and he's trying to figure out what really went down. Thing is, Cat's like, she explains, envelope dropped off. That was it. Clark knows that there's something off. There's something off. There's something wrong. And there's something that they have to find out. He has to find out who did this so he can stomp them in the ground. Because you know what? I would be like, we're going to go Ultraman. We're going to go Superman from Injustice Gods Among Us. And I'm going to crush you like a bug. <laughs> but that's just me. I'd be like, we're going to crush him. But Clark is trying to find out how this happened. You know, you see Batman looking suspicious. You've got Steve looking suspicious. You're like, it could be a number of people who leaked this and he wants to find out why. And Kat's like, dude, don't shoot the horse in the mouth. Just just accept that we know and roll with it. That's all he's like, just, just accept that we now know that we are now famous. We're known for something. People are checking us out. Just, just accept it. And Clark's like, mm, I can't, I can't do that. At the same time that Clark's going to check with Cat about what happened, Diana goes to um, Hesta's dojo, and she's teaching little girls the kung fu, baby. And you know, Diana gets a little girl's little pep speech, which was really kind of sweet. And you know, she's like, she tells Hesta, "Hey, do you want to come spar with me? I got a little stress." And Hesta's like, you know, sure. So they're fighting like these blue robots. I think they actually are something, but I'm not quite sure who or what that is. But she beats them up. Has to save her by throwing a trident at one. Pretty cool. But Hesta's like, this is what you wanted. You want the world to know. Now they know. But Diana's like, no, I, I wanted them to know on my on our terms, you know. And Hesta's like, you can't control everything. And Diana's like, mm, fine. The next thing Dinah does is she asks Hester, does she want to go home? And Hester's like, I'm not sitting for the scar. I doubt I never would. And I, want, I, I really want to know, Hester really has got me intrigued and I want to know why she won't go back. I really hope they explain it later on, but we kind of find out. I think she might have, I think it might be that she had a son. And the Amazons and the son thing, you know, don't end well for the little boys, you know. And maybe she had, a, she got pregnant with a son when they went out to the, do their raids and and she just could not give him up. So she left and said she'd never go back. Which would be very cool to see. That'd be really cool. <laughs> to find out that that's what happened. But we know that we saw, we've seen pictures where Diana's on the beach. And it, it's really kind of cool. I wonder if Clark's going to show up, which would be awesome. But you you see that she goes, she's going to go home. And has this like, you know, you know, without the Amazons, there's a whole lot of shit on them scar that likes to kill people. It's going to be a rough trip. And that's kind of where it ended. You're like, oh, my God, it's cliffhangers. Just, just, just don't leave. Don't make me don't make me wait, please. I, I'm not very patient about certain things like cliffhangers and stuff. It's, it's never good. But it's well written. It's really good. Just, just, just. Don't take my word for it. Go to your comic book store and buy it yourself. Must, must read. Single-handedly, probably one of the better DC things. 
it makes Superman and Wonder Woman. It's one of the better versions of either of them, even though I do love Brian to sell Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> but in other really cool news, which is my fan fiction stuff, chapter two of Admission is up. It's called White Wedding, and it, it's very, it's, 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 you just have to read it. It, it's, it's got just enough hatred of Lois that it's not overbearing. But I don't want to make her a complete bitch. I can't make her a bitch because I, I really did like Lois and Clark the show. Lois and Clark the TV show. I used to love that show. And, and, and I can't really hate her too much because of that show. So, But, uh, you know, there must be a slight. Just a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> but um, also, I have thought of the little quick shot. I guess we'll call it a one shot on a idea based off of um, League of One, Justice League League of One with one of them taking out the League and her having a conversation, a conversation that she has with Superman before she says, hey, you got 10 minutes to go save him. Bye. <laughs> you know, can save him or not, you can fight me or you can go save them sort of thing. So it'll be very interesting. It'll be short in less than 4,000 words, I hope. <laughs> I hope. But, um, also, uh, what else? What else was there? Mm. Also, ah, got it. Eureka. I thought about thinking of what to call my videos, because I think it should have a cool name, because everyone of these videos has, like, a cool title, like, all oh, blank, 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 and all this stuff, so I think I should think of one. So, if you think of one, besides, you know, that, I thought about Nerdy Wonder Woman chats, or little nerdy Wonder Woman updates or something like that. Something something that Santa sort of thinks about me. Oh guess that's what guess this is what it was. Um I'm going to be going to a comic convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. I believe it's the one in Charlotte. It's in June, I think. And I'll be going. And I'm going to cosplay and I need an idea. I got at least Three that I really think would be cool. Raven from Teen Titans. Not the cartoon Raven. The 80s Raven. Oh yeah. Um. Oh. Psylocke from X-Men. The new Psylocke from X-Men. The new um, Marvel Now updated up outfit. Which is really cool. I like it. And... From one of my favorite cartoons, I have to admit, I really do like Steven Universe, and I love me some Garnet. I love Garnet. She is so cool with the fisticuffs and the. I love I love the episode where she's like standing up posing. It's really cool, and she's her voice is done by one of my favorite musical artists, Estella. I think it's Estella. I think, but. I do have some other ideas popping up in my head, so if you guys have any, like, really cool cosplay, that'd be really cool. Maybe even some tips, because I have never done this before. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing, because I would totally be going a shepherd if I knew how to actually make the shepherd armor, or my warden if I knew how to sew, which I don't. <laughs> I'm, like, I can, like, do, like, the little wimpy sewing, but nothing too serious. I can't use the machine. I broke a machine when I took a sewing class. Because I suck. I can make a full course meal, but I can't, so it saved my life. But if you guys have any really cool cosplay ideas, please let me know. Just leave it in the comment, or I think this somehow I can get to the Google Plus thing. I really don't know how to use it, so if you can, if you can figure out how to use it, just let me know if you guys think of any really cool cosplay that would be really fun. Because I would do Witchblade, but I just I, I too much exposure. That'd be kind of weird. But this is my video. So if you guys think of any cosplay or anything I should call my call my videos, because I really think Nerdy Wonder Woman would be kind of cool. But if you think of anything better, please let me know. So see you guys soon. Bye!